first area we checked was Lakeview, which experienced up to 12 feet of water. It was immediately apparent how violent the flooding was. Cars were mangled and some even standing upright next to trees. This was ground zero for the Lakeview area. The 17th Street Canal levees. This is where the levees broke and the floodwaters rushed in. This house was pushed 75 or so yards off its foundation having a tree stopping the slide. Next on the devastation trail was my old neighborhood, Gentilly. The south end of my street is actually several feet higher and houses here had no water. My family's house was not so lucky. We had about five feet. Oh, here we are back at 4736. Unbelievable. Gates open. Windows are open. What a shock to witness. Everything was ruined. Look at this shit. Unbelievable. Sarah, I wouldn't come in here no. with your allergies. The hideous stench of mold and rotted food permeated the air. Miraculously, our lemon tree was the only survivor. Everything, everything died, but the lemon tree, man. The lemon tree is full of lemons. A few miles away, in the lower ninth ward, the destruction was even more mind-boggling. A giant barge resting on top of a school bus probably was the most surreal sight of all. Houses here were completely destroyed. The last area in the video was in the southeastern suburb of Moreau. Side A, listen to the music side.
The flooding here was actually caused by a tsunami. Levees maxed out only around 13 feet and were no match for the powerful storm surge. Nothing left but the toilet here too. Stories of residents who rode out the storm in their homes were chilling. The water rose so quickly that some had to escape to the rooftops from their attics, chopping away with axes or even blasting through with shotguns. no home to return to, my family finally settled in a town called Douglasville, just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. They were there for four months. My father eventually passed away 
in Douglasville, succumbing to pneumonia. Pneumonia. 